All right, so we'll show the viewers here before we get to the real show. Fuck, Mary kill. First contestant is Karen. She got the big old mommy milkers. Yeah, she's got the big sweater puppies. Mary Beth and Tilly. So, kill right off the bat, I'm going to say... <laughs> And the game is over. All right, let's move on to the tier list. <laughs> so we have every gang member. We got them lined up in order. Of how they appear in the collector's in edition the book. the collector's edition book here. Yep. So we got, oh shit. Oh. I almost bent the f*** out of that. Tell you what, brother. Hmm. All right, so I'm just going to do this, and you let me know if I'm wrong. Okay. Pretty f***ing wrong. <laughs> yeah. I mean, okay, let's let's get this right. Okay. Dutch has everything but but real-life honor. Everything's charm with this guy. The mm. charisma built it's all to the fake. max. Yeah. Personally, I'm putting, I'm putting Dutch in an A tier. A tier. That's probably fair. He ends up being the ultimate baddie. But, hey, sometimes the bad guys, man, like, like a good bad guy is hard to craft. In mm -hmm. cinema, books, yep. in any medium. And yeah, I agree. So, S tier is, is a sacred territory. That really is. But he is far from the bottom. Right. This guy is A tier character. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Red Dead 2 is just as much as Dutch's story as it is Arthur's story. Oh, in my sure. opinion. Oh, Those sure. two together, it's it's they're in... You're watching the unraveling yeah. of a man's psyche. Yeah. <laughs> and it affects every following character in this story. Oh, yeah. So Dutch, because he does he has low honor, we're giving him I, I say A. Now, um who's uh, this guy? Um This next guy. I yeah. think hold on, let me consult the book. Okay. Arthur Morgan? More like the horse? Morgan Horse. Okay. Alright. I mean, I know where I'm putting them, and it's right there in the fucking F category. Yo, I mean, this, this guy, dude's a cuck. F for fail, bro. He failed big time. Tuberculosis <laughs> no. failed. Yeah, dude, this guy got killed by what an amoeba, dude. What an L. <laughs> dude, holy shit. What an L. No, all he's right. S all the yeah, way. S. He might, that's the problem with, with, um, with Arthur, is he might be ahead of John for me. And that's like you. You are with my uh, younger sister Sophia. Oh yeah, your team Arthur. I'm. I'm it's not that I hate or dislike anybody anymore. Or you know, it's John had your heart first. He, it is. <laughs> He's my first love. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. But anyways, <clears throat> but um, all that aside, getting back to the man at hand, Arthur Morgan. I was skeptical at first, like I'm sure a lot oh, of people were. Dude, like, how the are they gonna? Trailer. How are they gonna do this? How are yeah. they gonna like uh, up John? How are they gonna compete with John? And uh, they did it. They did it. They it, did it. You know, any I've said this a thousand times. How do you outdo John's abrupt ending? Mm, like just mm. shot to death. You're like, oh, he's gonna win this. Oh no! Because yeah, you're in dead eye. Yeah, take them all out. <laughs> you watch Arthur slowly die the entire game. Yep. I was like, oh yeah, that actually is pretty <laughs> <fucking> bad. <laughs> That's worse. So with that being said, there's room for others in the S tier. Next, we have Sadie Adler. This is gonna get spicy. <sighs> I think Sadie Adler requires reading her paragraph that they provide. In the lovely. In the book. Uh, she's got, we're not okay. talking about this. <clears throat> we're not talking about this. <laughs> we're talking about this. <laughs> Sadie is a widow hell bent on taking revenge upon the men who broke into her home, her home mm -hmm. and killed her husband, Jake. My Jake. Oh, up... Do it, do it, do it. My Jakey. Oh, my Jakey. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's pretty good. She grew up raising har raising harsh land in the mountains and can ride, hunt, and shoot the best of them. She and Jake shared all the work on their farm until her whole life was taken from her in an instant. She is entirely the wrong woman to cross, but very loyal to those she loves. But everyone she loves is dead. And I don't care. And for that, that you are in yeah. the F. <laughs> okay. We have talked pretty harshly uh, against Sadie. Mm -hmm. I think we have in compared to the rest of the community. Uh -huh. It's just I don't 
vibe with her as much as everyone else does. She's not a bad character. And she certainly is a friend of Arthur and a very good friend of John at the end of the game. Yeah. And but yes. honestly, when there's others involved, I'm gonna have to put. I'm gonna have to put her. Uh, uh, you 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 say this one first. You know, I. I <coughs> dude, I agree. <laughs> I agree. She's very middle of the road. <laughs> I'll put her in a C. I do Sorry. as well. Sorry, I, I know. Well. No, nope. I want to know though in the comments for real though. I'm not just yeah. saying this to be yeah. YouTubey. I want yeah. to know what your opinion is of Sadie because she's a very divisive character. She really is. So we, for that reason. Slap her in the middle. We are moving on from Sadie to Charles. Charles. Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> you kill people, Charlie. He's A or S. I think like significant to the core story. Mm -hmm. uh, and just how much I like him. So, what's your favorite Charles <clears throat> moment? My favorite Charles moment? Yeah, off the top of your head. Off the top of my head, I automatically go to one of two. The, it's either uh, the hunting mission that you go on him with, where you find the buffalo yeah. guys, just, and he just pulls out <laughs> that double barrel. Yeah, but also the end of the game where it's just super chill, and he's with John the whole time, just building the house, and he mm -hmm. kind of like lives on a farm with him for a little bit. Yeah, I agree. Just like super chill, he's just a good, a really good friend. He's just decent, <laughs> even though like the whole time. During the main story, he's like Arthur's friend, but you realize at the end that he he does good for good people, and he even shows up in the later years for mm -hmm. John. All I right, agree. who are we on to? John Marston. Okay. I mean, yeah, right. I mean, you just Come go ahead and put him where he belongs. Uh, right. We'll put him there. Oh, he's even ahead of Arthur. We, so we got to decide here because uh, this matters. This matters. This to this matters. <laughs> all right. This Let's matters. have a serious discussion. Let's establish our sides first, and then we'll debate from there. Are you Are you saying that John needs to be ahead? Is that Is that Are what you you're... saying Are you saying that is what I prefer? Yeah. Is this what you prefer? <sighs> yeah. I love Arthur. I, he is up there in the top three video game top five. Yeah, I, I personally gotta give it to John. His story, me too, is crazy. John built a family. He built a house. He traveled way further than Arthur ever did. He hunted down Bill mm. Dutch, single-handedly took Javier Bill and Dutch out. Fought in the Mexican Revolution, saved his family, and the only way John was stopped was the Mexican, or the Mexican, was the U.S. government turning on Double crossing. Him. No, I don't have to even argue anymore. We're going to put John ahead of Arthur, and we're going to drink to it. It's a tough one. It's a tough it's one. It's a tough one, yeah. but it's not much further ahead. But mm -hmm. he's a little ahead for me. Can we, like, overlap him a little bit? We'll do, one of, we'll do one of the, whoa now, we'll do one of those. So I believe we got a Mr. Michael. Micah Bell. I mean, I'm not a complete believer that he's a rat, mm -hmm. which we've talked about before. But we, like, we we have. Let's let's just. Let's if you just, watch our other videos, please do yes. find the one where we discuss these <coughs> because it's random. We discuss this shit just randomly right. while we'll, while we're playing games. But um, with that said, he's definitely F character. <laughs> he's definitely a piece he's of shit. He's definitely F tier. But he, he's a piece of shit. You subscribe to the theory of, like, the gang just got too sloppy. They brought it on themselves. 100%. They brought it on themselves. Or it's a combination. Okay, may, it co combination a little bit. Maybe Molly did tell a little bit. Maybe Abigail did say a little bit. Maybe Micah said a little bit. But maybe they were too loud. I don't think it was clear cut. Like Micah said everything. Brought Milton. Molly too. was at no. I don't think Milton was as smart and as clever and as good as a Pinkerton as he was led to believe. I do ultimately believe them just being sloppy. But with that being said, he's a piece of <laughs> shit. He is an actual piece of shit. <laughs> and there's no redeeming qualities. No. Where, where is there he's a never a good man? Where is there a redeeming? He quality? gives you a holster you don't even want. <laughs> That you, Arthur can't figure out how yeah, to take it off. He's like, Micah, <laughs> Micah, how the hell you take this thing off? <laughs> oh, what the hell? This one's going to be a little confusing for me. <laughs> like sexually? Yeah. I'm kind of turned on right now. 
We got Javier. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> because Javier, as he's depicted very briefly in RDR one, you don't really like him. <coughs> but in RDR two, hey brother, he's a cool man. <laughs> he's standing there like this. He's like, he's we need like, some oh, real. Hey, how's your family, John? But Javier, in RDR two, mm -hmm. he's a cool <laughs> dude. You go fishing with him. He sings great songs at the campfires. Mm -hmm. He you go on robberies. You, you go save John. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. I know if I was in his position, he'd come looking oh, for me. That's such a... Well, I remember the first time I heard that. <laughs> I was like, no, oh, they did it. Oh, <laughs> man, they were so good at writing RDR, too, I tell you what. Yep. You know what they did? Just a little brief brief aside here. They took every character that you loved in RDR 1 and, like, kind of brought them down a few pages. Brought them down. And, and all, all the ones... The, yep, they brought I them agree. <laughs> that's what they I did. I totally <laughs> agree. Which is which is good writing. I mean... Uh, because by the time you find Dutch in RDR1, he is a lost motherfucker. Yeah. Just a bad man. Yeah. But anyway, anyway, RDR2 in this context, Javier. Um, <clears throat> I... I, I <clears throat> okay. Is that high enough? I mean, I was going to say, honestly, B or C. Okay. I don't know if he should be higher than Sadie. We'll put him here. But now. I think he should be behind Sadie. I obviously like Javier in RDR2 more than Sadie. Mm -hmm. But he's not as important as mm -hmm. Sadie. She doesn't... He doesn't do as much as Sadie does. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I feel like there was a lot more potential with Javier that they could have... They might have even cut some shit. Yeah, probably. But, but um... I feel like he was... He uh, still felt like a background character. Uh-huh. I'll put him I've in said C, my piece. but I'm going to put him above Sadie. Above Sadie. Uh, Bill Williamson. Mm. Yeah. That's our next guy. He is next. Is he gay? <laughs> he might be. It's heavily <laughs> alluded. <laughs> heavily. Is he gay? He's being discharged from the army in his early 20s, possibly dishonorably. Did you take a drink for Javier? I did, but I'll take another. Okay. I know exactly where I'm going to slap Bill Williamson. Have you ever seen any interviews with the with the actor? Uh, yeah. A He's couple. a cool dude, and he loves his experience in time. So this is nothing against him. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm going to say E, because he definitely sides with Dutch in a moment when he shouldn't have. But he's still not as bad as Micah. He's pointing the gun at John and, and uh, Arthur, and he's on that side. So what keeps him out of F, in your opinion? Um, What makes him redeemable? He's so gullible. I don't want to call him dumb. He's just, he, he's loyal. He's, he's loyal to yeah, Dutch. Uh-huh. To a fault. Yeah, he's like a, a dog. Yeah, <laughs> he kind of complains a little bit, like, but it's it's yeah. it's legitimate complaints, like, Oh, I wish you would trust me more. I wish you would. But Micah is a smart... He knows he's being an asshole. Yeah, he's conniving. I like Bill a lot in the second game. But he's still just... You know, he's not that great of a guy. He f***ed up too many times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one's pretty easy. <clears throat> we can move yeah, on. Yeah, I, I would say... Yeah, <coughs> yeah, moving on, moving on, moving on. Abigail. Abigail Robert. Okay. Roberts. Ro Abigail. Roberts. So, Abigail... Doesn't have a huge role in the main story of either game. Mm -hmm. She's just kind of there. There's the theories that she's one of the rats. We've talked about that. Mm -hmm. I personally like Abigail. I think she's a cool, strong woman. She's the only one, if you notice, of the ladies in the camp that is not controlled by Grimshaw. So yeah, yeah you're right. I'm definitely going to... Uh, what do you think? I, I threw Bill on E. I gave my reasons why. Where do you think she falls? Being that we have Sadie and C, I would be content to put her here or here mm. just because like she is a strong character you know so I would say C as well but after everybody else oh yeah or we move Sadie to B hmm Again, I'm not like the simping over Sadie like other people do, yeah. but I do think she's genuinely a good character and important to the story. Yeah. That's the only reason I would move her up. Yeah. Okay. Either she's low C <clears throat> or Sadie moves to B. I do agree Sadie belongs. She kills Milton. She does kill Milton, puts a bullet in his head. Yeah, she does. Arthur was about to die. 
They're right. <laughs> Saved his life. And they have that moment there at the end. All right, I agree with this placement. She's she's in C. Okay, Mister Mister Jack. Mister Jack, as the book says, Marston. So I think that pretty much puts a <laughs> sums debate. it up. <laughs> puts a debate to an yep, end. Yep, that's okay. that. Okay, are we talking about the entire Red Dead lore? Of Jack. I kind of am. <laughs> yeah. I we have been am. this whole time, so we may as yeah, well continue I, with it. We're playing both games here. Right. We may we're as well playing, continue yeah, with it. So that's why John is in S first place. How disappointed were you when you found out that you were playing as Jack at the end of... It's not necessarily disappointment that I was playing. I thought it was kind of cool, even in my undeveloped brain <laughs> as a teenager playing it. Mm-hmm. I still was like, oh, okay, this is cool seeing Jack. It was. I was just so upset that John died. Yeah. That I didn't want to play as Jack. I didn't want to play as Jack because it was nerdy ass Jack. <laughs> I just wanted to play as John. Yeah. So you can't. So he's whiny, complain. It, it, do you blame him though? <laughs> Look at the life he had. Mm-hmm. With that being said, he's either a deary. Right. It has to be. He's not a really important character. He does kill Ross. He does kill Ross in the end. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't Whatever. he just undo everything that was done? Doesn't he just continue the cycle of... He really does. <laughs> of Which almost ranks him higher because, because of how complex and flawed he really is. Yeah. And that makes him a better character in the sense of a story. Right. That it's it's an intriguing character. I'm just thinking about the life that he went on the lead. Like like, was it all for nothing? Did everything Arthur do for John and then John do for Jack just get completely undone by Jack's actions at the end of Red Dead? It was pure revenge. It was. And did it ruin Jack's life there on out, or was it one of these like it's put to rest and he went on to write a book and it's in GTA Five. <laughs> So okay, well, with the <coughs> argument you've made, yeah, he's either. I think he's above Bill. I was gonna say he's either E above Bill or he's in D. We'll, we'll put him in D for now. Okay, because he is pretty crucial to the whole lore. Yeah, he has this thing going on. Okay. He, as much as we uh, probably don't love him, kind of make fun of him a yeah. little bit, but Hosea. I'll let you uh, take the lead on this one here. Oh, man, do I like Hosea. <laughs> <laughs> so much that you think he should be the the, 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 the player playable character in Red Dead 3? If they did a Assassin's Creed 3 fake out, like the first three hours of the tutorial, you like, oh, I'm playing young Hosea, training mm-hmm. this young... That's my, like, ultimate fan theory. Or, like, I wish. Yeah. I know it won't happen, but... <coughs> Yeah. You're playing as Hosea, fighting with Dutch, training this other young man to be a con artist. Hosea's like, f*** it, I am going to go with Dutch. We got something going on. Mm-hmm. And then it, the game whole just switches perspective to How this How cool story. would it be, though, if all of the marketing for Red Dead 3 was playing as this new character? And then and you, then you start out as Hosea? Yes, it would be a f***ing, I'm like, mm, <laughs> that'd be awesome. Hosea, <laughs> third place S tier. I agree. He's just so cool. Everything he's he says. Fa- <laughs> he is never wrong. Yeah. You can't disagree. It's probably a trap. <laughs> yep, it's probably a trap. When uh, when Arthur gets kidnapped, yeah. he just speaks up from He the, knows. He's like, it's probably he's a like, trap. I, I, I don't know about this Dutch. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, he's the In his only importance one. to Dutch is incredible. Mm-hmm. Like, when he dies, and, Dutch, yeah. like, goes off a fucking cliff. Yep. Third place us here. <laughs> I agree. Hosea? I agree. Never change. I agree. Oh, we got to drink one for Hosea. Yep. I love that man. R.I.P. Old Lumbuncle here. Lumbuncle. <laughs> Lumbago Uncle. Uncle. I never read his story here. Oh, what's he got? A hanger on and a good time guy. Uncle is always around when the whiskey is open and nowhere to be seen when there's any work to be done. Nobody's quite sure how old he is, how he's still alive. Or if he's actually anybody's uncle. He also asserts he has terminal lumbago. <laughs> they threw that in the yeah. book. <laughs> if he wasn't so entertaining, the gang would have cut him loose years ago. So are we going to throw into... <laughs> that he's Red Harlow? That he might be Red Harlow? <laughs> Is that a possibility? <laughs> There's no f***ing way. 
Listen, I know where I'd put him, but I'm going to let you take the reins. <laughs> oh, he's fun. He's fun. I'll put him here. <laughs> Dude, 100% where I was going to say. I was like, E tier, but behind Bill. <laughs> yeah, he's funny for a few moments. He's, if he If he wasn't there... He might be with Jack only because he does fight with John at the yeah end. yeah yeah he does he's a son of a bitch the whole fucking two stories but he does not run but at the end he dies for John he does does that put him above Bill I might put him in front of Jack <laughs> <laughs> man we are we are so easily convinced oh. of ourselves and if he was Red Harlow he'd be fucking S <laughs> <laughs> he started the whole thing. He, he was here. I don't think I'm comfortable putting him above Jack, but I would do this. <sighs> yeah, I'm I'm good. I'm moving on. Oh, okay. <laughs> we might come back to yeah. the uncle one though, because I did at first. Like, I was all about E behind Bill. Me too. Grimshaw, solid B. She's the first B, in my opinion. <laughs> Has to be. She's the first B. Has to be. We're putting her above Javier and Sadie, though. She she's just the camp mom. She saves Tilly. She's she's mean to the girls, but she cares for the girls. Stabs and, that dude in the neck. And she ultimately <laughs> dies at the end, though, uh, mm -hmm. like for her loyalty to Dutch or not Dutch uh, to Arthur at the end. I, I would almost switch the entire group of C and B, maybe. Put Grimshaw in C. And then the other three in B. We'll worry about that at the end. All right, all right. Yeah, this is gut reactions. We're in Molly. All We're right. in Molly now. Molly. What is the, what is the write up on Molly? So, I'm happy yeah, to do this a is lot interesting. of reading. A Dublin girl, she considers herself a few cuts above the other gang members, which hasn't won her many supporters in camp, which also puts her. Pretty low. Behind Bill. For sure. Man. For sure. This is no debate. This Sorry. is where she goes. Sorry. Just kind of. You, you agree? Pain. Yeah, I do. Strauss. All right. Another hot take. I don't think Strauss is as fing bad as everyone makes him be. Even Arthur in the story throws him out of camp. And I don't necessarily agree with. Even Arthur's like. Uh, the guy's giving out loans with agreements. Pay this back. If you don't, I kick the shit out of you. <laughs> What's the fucking hate about the guy? He was open and up front. Yeah. yeah. Here's the loan. Here's a repayment plan. If you can't afford it, I send Arthur after you. <laughs> Why does Arthur hate him? It's uh, yeah, I think it's a it's an honor thing from Arthur's perspective in his but brain. It's, but still, it's such exactly a, it's so stupid. It is. With that being said, I feel like uh, put him where I think you're gonna put him. So go right ahead. Go, you can put him where you think you're gonna put. That's where I was gonna put him. Hey. Right? <laughs> put a fucking drink to that. Hey. Do you also know the most <laughs> badass thing about Lee, about a uh, 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 Strauss? They mention him in the epilogue. He's like, oh, he died in interrogation. They beat him to death. Oh, yeah, he and didn't like, say a word. He's yeah. like, I guess Strauss, is, you know, some men are stronger than they appear mm -hmm. in other ways. So I'm not going to put him in C, but I do want to recognize that even though he's in D, Strauss was a solid member of the gang, dude. He made money, and then he never talked. Trelawney just, will be an interesting one. Well, here we are. I know where I would put Trelawney on a, right off the bat. Right off the bat. Well, he's the strange fan. <laughs> so he's ass. He's definitely... He's ass. <laughs> I love Trelawney. He's in the game very little. This is where I would put him. <clears throat> that's where I would put him. I am... You think that's too... Fucking shocked. <laughs> At how similar you and I are. <laughs> like, that's <just, laughs> fing disturbing. <laughs> that, that is exactly <laughs> where I would put Sean. <laughs> He's a great character, but as overall importance, that's where I'd put him. Okay. Not that I dislike him. That's not why he's in E. It's just importance at this point. Pearson. Is he the rat? No, not at all. Everybody has the theory that not he's, at all. he's got what, what, his own shop set up with a picture of the gang. Like, how would that be allowed? I think Pearson's in the in the in the realm of thought that there isn't a rat. They just got too loud. Yeah, and this is a little picture memory that he has because he doesn't think anything happened. It just fell apart. 
Peterson gets I a bad rap sometimes. Put, I know where I put him. I'm kind of curious just to see where you'd slap him, just to see if we can read, if we can All keep right. this <clears throat> band go. I should write this down and like just so we can prove how similar we are. Uh, you you're like, put it uh, in my phone. Yeah, yeah. Let me. Uh, <laughs> okay, I got it. Okay, it's just where I'm gonna put him, right here. Oh man. <laughs> uh, D last place. Oh, you're close. Close. <laughs> we're, we're we're like two two, two spaces. Yeah. Two D, spaces. D last place. We're um, close. Yeah, I was like behind Strut. You're you're actually now that I think about it though, that is a really better placement where you put it, where you put him. Just because like um he's important, but like really not even as much plot. as Strauss. And definitely not as much as Bill. So he shouldn't be ahead of Bill, which technically where I put him. Mm -hmm. So you have him behind Strauss, which is what I agree with. But I also had him above Bill, and I don't agree with. Yeah. That's a way better placement. Reverend Swanson. Oh, my God, dude. (laughs) This dude, he's walking around with shitted up britches. Yeah. (laughs) I know where I'd put him. He's got meth in his Bible. Dude, this guy's a bad... Just, just not a good, I mean, just a piece of shit. What does he do for the fucking gang? E last place. Yeah. Yeah, not F. Yeah. Not I don't know if there's anyone lower than Micah. He didn't do anything. He's just a nuisance. Yeah. Okay. Lanny. Okay. Lemmy. Lan- Lanny. I mean. Between him and Charles, I said I'd put him ahead of Charles. Ooh, yeah. And you, you were did. like. Yeah, really? I had a Charles? It's only because of what Charles does in the epilogue. Yeah. It's only because of that. It depends on the context. So if we kind of fell into yeah. ranking in importance. So I definitely wouldn't put Lenny ahead of Charles in importance. But just as far as much as I like him, probably. Personality. Yeah. And Maybe ahead of Charles, but... I would put him... <sighs> Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> dude, I know. Dude, yep, that's where I f***ing put him. I should have typed it. Yep. I, you were, yep. Yep. Right there? Yep. Okay. Yep. Lenny is great. He's Arthur's drinking buddy. Dude, Lennel. <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, Yenny. I, just because of that, I'm finishing this f***ing cocktail. Lenny. Mm-hmm. You okay? <laughs> Strong at the end there. <laughs> strong. I love Lenny. Well, he I didn't almost, have it easy. Neither. I don't want him in B. But so do we just go ahead and do this? I agree with the yeah. A, but behind Charles, I think Lenny needs an A. Okay, you're right. Yeah. You're right. That feels better. Sean, when he went, man, that was the sh- that was the most shocking moment. That might him and oh, uh, Lenny. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Dying. Because Lenny dies in gameplay. Yeah. Which blew my fucking up. Mind. I restarted that mission. Like, I was like, oh, I gotta save like, Lenny. This is an optional. Ca- I was so. The gang was just falling apart. Hosea, Lenny, we're in fucking Cuba John, now. John gets um, picked up. Oh, my word, dude. Anyways, Sean. Um, uh, Sean. Um, basically, like Arthur's annoying little brother. But I know where I'd put him. Exactly where I would put him. Well, I have two places I'd put him in. Uh, I'd probably put him here. I was going to say D2 or C3. Hmm. He's either right behind Sadie or right above Uncle. Hey, I don't I don't, I don't know about I, E. Here I don't works. Know about e. Here works. Yeah, that that was that was one of the places I was thinking. Yeah, I had him a little too low. Importance. There. You know, he, he is there. He's a cocky son of a bitch, but he is putting in the work. Right. He robs a train with them. He gets the horses with them. Mm-hmm. He gets shot in the face in roads. <laughs> he gets captured by bounty hunters. Doesn't give anybody up. Yeah. I mean, he has a short run, but he is loyal till the end. Mm-hmm. So the way we're making this list look, there's a lot of bad characters. <laughs> That's not what we mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These aren't shitty characters except for Micah. It's just mm-hmm. their importance versus likability. Mm-hmm. Because believe me, if it was likability, Sadie wouldn't be that high. Mm-hmm. But her importance gets mm-hmm. her up there. All right. Kieran. Kieran. Headless Kieran. 
How you doing, bud? I know where I'd put him right off the bat, right off the bat without even thinking it. No. Hmm? <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> I agree with that. I, it was definitely in the D category, but then I had to think about your placement for a second and comparing him to Strauss and... It's more like important. I mean, he yeah, saves I Arthur's agree. life for a I minute. agree. I, and he's loyal. Yeah. He is loyal. Yeah. He, no, I agree. He gets a bad I rap. Agree. There's but... not much to say about Karen. I mean, I wish there was more to say about him because he's yeah. not a bad guy. But he has a short life in the story of Red Dead. And yeah. Yeah. No, I agree with that. I agree with that. So moving on to Mommy Milkers. Yeah, man. We're down to the three. <laughs> Mary Kill. Oh, who would have thought? And it literally <laughs> is in that order. Mary kill. <laughs> <laughs> so they're all his. <laughs> they're all his too. All right. So um, Karen. Karen. Right behind Karen. No, I'm kidding. Um, Her importance. Uh, Rob's a bank. I kind of put her behind Sadie, but ahead of Abby because yeah. of you know whole bank robbery and also in chapter two she does the whole let's go scam some dudes and she's getting the shit kicked out of her. Arthur. But what about Abigail's? final moments in RDR2 with Arthur and killing Milton. <laughs> kill Milton. <laughs> right, can we agree on this? I'll agree with that. Ahead of Jack, though? Ooh. Um, I don't know. Jack might be moving up into, into mm, here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Then you gotta move Uncle ahead of Sean. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, that's making yeah. a little more sense. Yeah. I like that. Only because Uncle does come in. It, it takes 10 years, <laughs> but he does come in at the end. Yeah. And he is Red Harlow. All right. Mary Beth. This is going to be tough for me because she does absolutely f all for the gang. <laughs> But she's she's just the sweetest character. Yeah. She come, becomes a famous writer. Mm -hmm. um, she does she what helps she sets herself. Arthur through some tough mental times. Oh, this is gonna suck so fucking bad though. She's got to go right here. This is gonna suck, dude. I, yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> she's either right a, a before or right after uh, Trelawney. I agree. It's not because it's how much <laughs> I dislike her. It's just her importance to the gang. I really don't understand. I'd put her ahead of Trelawney. Yeah, because Trelawney's not really there. At least Mary Beth go. is there doing dishes. Right. Yeah, I'd put her ahead of Trelawney. Tilly? Put, put her right behind. Yeah. There you go. Is that that? That's Did we do it? Yep, that's that. That <laughs> that's is that. that. So the S tier. Pretty. Which, I mean, you can't disagree with S and A. Those titles are. I bet you there's some people. Please comment. <laughs> Please yell at us. I know Sadie's too low. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know Sadie's too low for most people. She'd probably be up in A. Ahead of, especially, we got Lenny way too high for importance but Lenny's probably be ahead of Grimshaw yeah and so then not Sadie's probably up there I okay I would bring Lenny down I would put Sadie up but below Charles you on, would bring Sadie on, up here I would put her up in a Oh, I'm not gonna lie. Really? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. You're gonna that's you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna, you're gonna fold to the to the simps. I'm not going to fold to the Sims because <laughs> if I was simping, then we'd put Mary Beth. <laughs> Mary Beth would be up there, and so would so would Karen, let's be honest. I'm sorry. Can you hand me another drink? Because uh, I can't end this like this. Can we crush these together, brother? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that hurt Those a little are bit. Surprisingly cold. So we're done. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> the tier list is done. He was the true <laughs> savior. Gunslinger. If we just would have listened to him. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that was. Well, fun. hey, thanks for joining us. What's our next tier list? 
I think top ten protagonists only, not villains, protagonists. And mm-hmm. you and I would have to come, not even top ten. We would just have to come up with as many protagonists as we wanted, and then and rank then them. rank them. So it'd be like John, Arthur, Agent Forty Seven, Ezio, mm-hmm. Joel, Joel, uh, Garol, Sam Fisher. I like. We oh, could literally man. come up with as many. Nico. Oh yeah. We could do all, all right. of the dude. Okay. We could. We should yeah, do yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. We'll be That's right. <laughs> We're doing this right now. We're going to go download some BFGs or whatever they're called. We're going to make some fucking pictures. <laughs> <laughs>